Hello, my name's Karina, and today we're going to think about the question, how does an instrument make a sound? To answer this question, we first need to find out what sound is. Sound is caused by vibrations that travel through the air and other materials to reach our ears. I can demonstrate using these pipes. By hitting the end of the tube, air is forced through the tube, which causes the column of air inside to vibrate. You may have noticed that we just heard different types of sound. We hear these different types of sounds because of the number of vibrations. We call the number of times something vibrates in one second its frequency, and we measure it in hertz. So if something vibrates three times in one second, its frequency is three hertz. A long or big instrument creates a low frequency, giving us a low pitch. And a short or small instrument gives us a high frequency with a high pitch. These pipes are a great example of how wind instruments work, but what about string instruments? Let's go over here to find out. With a string instrument, the string vibrates to create the sound. This exhibit helps us to understand how a string vibrates. Normally, the string would vibrate too fast for us to see. But what happens when we spin the drum? So, how does this work? Well, the black cylinder behind has white strips running down it. We can't really see the black string in front of the black cylinder, but as the white strips go by, this gives us little snapshots of the string's movement. When our brains put these snapshots together, it gives us the effect of slowing down the string's movement, showing us how the string really moves. So, how does this relate to string instruments? Let's take a look at a guitar. When I pluck the string, the string vibrates. But how do guitars make different sounds? Well, if I pluck the open string like this, we get this sound. But if I press here, this halves the length of the string, which doubles the frequency, creating a higher sound. By pressing the string in different places, this changes the length of the string, which changes the frequency, giving us different sounds. 